this video, I'm going to solve equation which will define electric potential at any general point due to a dipole. Okay, so to solve this problem, uh, first I'm considering a dipole. At one end, it has a negative charge and another end, it has a positive charge. And the separation distance between these uh, two charges is twice A. Okay, next, if I consider the center of this dipole means origin at the midpoint uh, of this separation distance, which is O. And next, I'm going to consider a point P. You can consider this point anywhere uh, on this on this uh, plane or a sphere. So this point P is, is R distance from the origin of this type. So this distance is R distance, R distance from the uh, center of this uh, dipole. Next, the distance I'm considering from negative Q charge to this point P is uh, something like R1. And the distance between this plus Q charge to this point P is I'm considering it's R2. Okay. R2. And this is somewhere our point somewhere here. Exactly. Okay. So uh, next, the, if, if we talk about uh, the dipole movement, so the direction of this dipole movement is something like this one. This is the direction of this dipole movement. So if I consider uh, this vector r as a displacement vector, means if I give it the direction r, so the direction between this r and p is, uh, the angle between this r and p is suppose theta, something like this one. So uh, here, the potential at this point p uh, can be defined by this charge negative q and this charge positive q. So the net potential on this uh, point p, so the net, uh, potential potential at uh, point p this potential v is due to potential uh, potential due to this negative charge q so that is i am considering v1 and plus the potential due to positive q charge that i am considering v so here uh, v1 is uh, minus q divided by four pi epsilon naught and the distance between this uh, minus q to point p which is r1 and plus v2 here uh, q upon four pi epsilon naught r2 okay so we can uh, take common out some term which is q upon four pi epsilon naught and uh, minus one over r1 plus one over and now we can do some with the algebra like q upon 4 pi epsilon naught. It's, uh, it's uh, r1 minus r2 divided by r1. So this is potential v. Now in the next part of this uh, derivation, uh, this if, uh, if this point p is too much far from this dipole, you know, means the difference between this separation distance and the point where we are actually calculating the Q potential is uh, too much. You know? So if point P is too much far, so for this case, if I drop a perpendicular distance from this uh, positive Q charge, suppose I drop a perpendicular from this positive Q charge. So in this case, uh, this uh, distance, which is minus Q to this point is R1 minus R2. Okay, R1 minus R2. And if point P is too far, so this can also be considered as theta. So for this triangle, means for this triangle, this triangle, this point, this point, and this point, for this triangle, the cosine of theta, okay, cosine, cosine of theta, this uh, is equal to R1 minus R2 divided by twice R r1 minus r2 divided by twice of a okay so uh, so from here we can have the value which is r1 minus r2 is 2a cos theta and if uh, as we considered that point p is too far so this value r1 into r2 can also be taken as is almost equal to r okay so if we replace uh, our 
values in this equation so that will give you q upon 4 pi epsilon naught r1 minus r2 will uh, twice a cos theta and this r1 into r2 is r square okay so this is our uh, equation so in this value uh, we can rearrange this equation something like 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and uh, again q into 2a cos theta divided by r square. So this is our potential. So as we know, q into 2a is the dipole moment, dipole moment. So this equation, final equation is in the form, which is q 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. q into 2a is the dipole moment, p cos theta divided by r square. So this is the uh, solution. This is the uh, final result of this electric potential at any general point somewhere at P. So if we compare this potential, which is due to dipole, uh, to the potential due to a point charge, so we can see that the dipole potential is one upon, is directly proportional to one upon R square. And for point charge is proportional to one upon R. Okay, so this is the basic difference between this uh, this potential equation between dipole and a point charge. And uh, this point, uh, this dipole uh, potential is, is for general point. So we can also discuss our two cases, which is that axial and, uh, uh, and equatorial point. So as we know at axial point, axial point means uh, if this is our dipole, so our point will be somewhere here, somewhere here. So it is at on, on the axis of this dipole. So you can see the angle cos theta is for this case is zero. So our expression uh, will get the value for axial value. So that will give you P cos zero means P upon R square. This is the equation for uh, axial point potential at axis pay. And another, if you consider uh, the equatorial point yeah, in the minus q to plus q, somewhere equatorial point here. So here, the angle between this dipole uh, moment and this r vector is pi by two. So if we put a pi by two in this equation, so we, we, we can we will get the result, which is one upon four pi epsilon naught p cos pi by two and divide by r square. So that is zero. So this is the potential at your equatorial point, which is zero. And this is for axial point, which is V is equals to one upon four by P by R square. And this is your uh, potential for general, general case. So this is all about uh, our video. Okay. Uh, and if you have any query, any question, then please uh, give a comment in this comment box. And thanks for watching this video.